but doctor are you telling me that uh, the ayurvedic drugs that are marketed by by known brands are not tested on patients uh, none of these ayurvedic drugs are actually uh, scrutinized the way actual scientific medicines are scrutinized for example we run phase 4 phase 3 phase 4 trials Go, get to the bottom of uh, benefits efficacy or safety and then uh, do a post marketing surveillance which is actually uh, you market it and then again do analysis of what is happening to the community so that that particular scientific method is not followed so what happens is that what is written in the textbook previously in the classical text if they say that you know this herb is useful for that particular symptom they directly use it because it is already written they don't want to test it so what so, we are buying from like like say a brand which is marketed by a baba which is currently in the market you're saying it's not yeah. tested on on people at all there is no record of text oh, testing the the baba's products are actually nothing to do with ayurveda those What? are actually proprietary products yeah they cook up that uh, combination and market it for example ayurveda has absolutely no idea about the germ theory there were there were no viruses and bacteria and fungi during the ayurveda literature time it was not there so they have no germ theory but suddenly when the covid came everybody started doing uh, treatment for covid from ayurveda and i don't know why i don't know how and coronal is something that is not mentioned in ayurvedic literature it is not a classical ayurvedic drug it is something the the company guys and the babas cooked up made a combination and said they have tested in a small pilot trial and then marketed it directly there is no that regulatory is board like there is no board that actually tells us that this is okay for consumption yeah i mean the, the the biggest aspect of this is that you know ayurvedic products are not marketed as drugs or medicines because they are marketed as either supplements or proprietary food products so which food means products. they don't yeah so you can actually say that ayurvedic proprietary ayurvedic food supplement or proprietary ayurvedic supplement that is how they write. they never write ayurvedic drug or ayurvedic medicine so what okay. happens is that it does not come under the category of actual the real medicine like for example antibiotics or antiepileptics it doesn't come under that so they just require a stamp and seal for good manufacturing practices and it's good to go tomorrow wise i just made my own proprietary medicine which i cooked up in my kitchen for heart disease and i said market it as a food supplement it's okay legally 